army general. Fucking hate army. You know the guy's a loser. Your name is hate army? You're saying hate army shit. The hate army troll Dude. doing hate army shit. Good vibes to the hate army. Shut up for hate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. I have one piece of news I like to cover with all of you. All right. All righty then. Before we get to shout outs. The news is not good. In fact, I've seen the writing on the wall. I've been talking about this, you know, at this point for, for months and months. But ever since Elon Musk bought Twitter, uh, it's just been getting worse, sadly. Even though he claims he's improving it. I've seen nothing but this website getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, from me not being able to even find, like, important posts or news on there anymore. It used to be like Twitter used to be so easy... All the top topics were always trending for what you were interested in. You could find game news. You could find other news. Anything that was, that was important, you'd find it right away. Now it's like almost impossible to find anything. And the whole thing is littered with ads now. Everywhere you go, it's like ad, ad, promotion, promotion, ad. Like, fuck this. Half the things I'm looking at are ads now. This thing is a piece of dog shit. The, it's really bad now. Elon Musk has bought it and ruined the fucking business, in my opinion. It really is... It's a night and day. Like, if you haven't noticed, I don't even post on it anymore. I just gave up. I'm not going to fucking post here. I'm not going to pay to become a premium member just to get my posts seen. Because they don't even get seen if you don't pay for it. And then on top of that, it's, it's impossible to find anything on it anymore. Because it's all just junk that's being pushed to the forefront. Alright? So, essentially, I really have not cared that much about Twitter. But, every day I still post up my schedule... I still post up links when I go live on my streams. I'm not going to change doing that. But the thing is, in the last six to eight months, I've started mirroring all of that on my YouTube channels. So if you want to see the schedule, check out DSP Gaming's community posts every night. And I post up my schedule there. If you want to know when I'm going live, I post it up on the community posts either on DSP Gaming or DSP Reacts so you know what's going on. That's what you should do. If you're interested in my content and me and what's going on with me, Subscribe to my YouTube channels, DSP Gaming or DSP Reacts or both. That's the best way to be in the know about what I'm up to. If you are following me on Twitter, I'm going to keep using it. But there's no guarantee you're going to be able to really get anything out of it. And here's why. Get this. This was announced this morning. So people opened Twitter this morning and they were all getting error messages. And the error message said, data rate exceeded. Data rate exceeded. Cannot re cannot read, uh, you know, data. So no one's Twitter was updating. It was just a bunch of error messages, and everyone's asking, "Well, why is that?" Well, Elon Musk posted up about it this morning. Get this: it was intentional, because he's instituted new changes. Listen to this one. You're gonna love this. To address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation. We have applied the following temporary limits. Verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts in one day. Unverified accounts can only read 600 posts in one day. And if you made a brand new account, you can only read 300 posts in a day. Let me get this straight. I just want to be sure I'm understanding this. Right? He's fucking guy. Right? Twitter is a social media website where people are supposed to be able to express themselves freely, freedom of speech, post up news articles, post up widespread opinions, information. It's supposed to be a place where humans can have this brain trust of interaction, right? That's the point of Twitter, social media. But you're limiting the amount they can fucking use it in a day. Does anyone see the ginormous amount of hypocrisy here? Freedom of speech, but limiting the amount that you can use it in a day. That would be like saying, your favorite website, you can only use it for an hour a day. What, then you're kicked off the website until tomorrow. Like, what the fuck? What, am I four years old? Are my parents looking over my shoulder, monitoring my internet use to tell me I'm using too much Twitter? That, you know, sorry son, get off the site. What the fuck? Right? And the worst part about it is, guess what it is? It's censorship. It's absolutely a million percent censorship. So if you use the website too much early on in the day, you can't read anything on the site later in the day. You're completely out of the loop on anything going on on social media because Elon says you use Twitter too much today.
It absolutely is censorship is what it is. It's reversed because you're thinking, well, censorship is you can't say what you want to say. Well, in this case, you can say whatever you want, but no one can fucking see it because they're all limited to using the site. You understand? So, yeah, it is censorship. One million percent, it's fucking censorship. This guy is nuts. He's a fucking, he's the richest moron I've ever heard of in my fucking life. He has run his business into the ground. And why is he doing it? Do you really think it's because, oh, we need to address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation? No, he's doing it because he wants you to become a fucking premium user. He wants you to pay for the little blue check mark and become verified. Then you can read 10 times more posts in a day, right? That's why he's doing it to make more fucking money. So it's absolutely ridiculous. You can't use social media as much as you want. He's limiting you like a dad or a parent telling you, you use too much today, Sonny. Mm, come back tomorrow. You have to balance your life and not just be on the internet all day. Well, what the fuck? What if, you, what if Twitter is something you use for your job or your business? Fuck you. Oh, okay. No, Elon, how about this? Fuck you, you fucking idiot. Really? You're, you're, I can't believe this guy is so rich and so stupid, but people keep giving this guy money. He's an asshole. He doesn't care about his site. He just cares about fucking people paying for the blue check mark because he paid too much for the business and he has no way to make his money back. He fucked himself because he's a moron. He's so busy running into the business with a sink in it saying, hey, let that sink in. Yeah, it did sink in. It's, saw, it's now sunken in. You bought the site. You don't know how to run it. You're an idiot. We get it. We've seen the changes over the last six to eight months of how bad the site has gotten. We noticed how bad it is and that you don't know how to run a business. Yet you're the richest guy on the planet. It's pretty interesting, isn't it, how dumb people are to keep giving you their funds when you don't know how to run anything. So for me, this is just, you know, really stupid. And good, here's the good news. If you haven't noticed, I have significantly phased out my Twitter use. And I think it was at one point I was using it a lot. And, you know, it was fun. It's, listen, is it fun to meme about? Is it fun to be part of drama and trolling and stuff? Of course it is. But at this point, it just sucks because it's just become such a fucking bullshit thing that it's not even fun anymore, right? So you tell me I got to become a premium member to even get my posts seen on fucking Twitter or to even be able to see people's posts on Twitter? Like, are you out of your mind? Fuck you. So... I'm done with it. The days, sadly, the days of Dark Side Phil going viral on Twitter for silly reasons, it's just not going to happen anymore. I, I just don't care. You know, it, it's stupid. It doesn't, by the way, as I've told you guys <clears throat> many times over the years, every time that I ever went viral on Twitter, right, the pro Jared tweet, the tweet against the Oscars for the Will Smith slap and stuff like that, every time that I went viral, guess how much it positively affected me or my content on YouTube? Zero, because that's about how much actual impact social media has. Zero. It does nothing. Every time that I went viral, I got zero additional views. I got zero additional income, zero additional benefit, because it's all bullshit. It's drama. It's fluff. It doesn't add to anything significant whatsoever. No one's going to see me post on Twitter, go viral, and then come check out my YouTube channel of gaming. No one cares. So fuck Twitter. I'm going to continue to use it the way I have which is very limited capacity, like I said, um, just posting up my schedule, uh, and that's probably about it. You're not gonna really see me significantly using Twitter for much else moving forward. I don't see the point. I'm not paying for a blue verified check mark. It's like I told you guys, <clears throat> when this whole thing was announced last year that you're gonna have to pay for the blue verified check mark that everyone was losing their verification, right? I said, well, here, I would do it. I would absolutely every month pay for a Twitter blue check mark if it means that it would benefit me or my business. For example, with YouTube Premium, I'm able to now watch all the videos for DSP versus the internet every week with no ads running, right? I'm able to listen to music in a playlist that I can minimize and listen in the background as I do other things on my phone. <clears throat> I'm able to um, uh, reward those whose content I like. When I watch their content under YouTube Premium, they get paid ad revenue, even though I'm not watching the ads. So I pay YouTube Premium because I'm getting a lot of use out of it. It's benefiting others whose content I enjoy, and it's benefiting me for my own business as well. Literally, I couldn't tell you a single benefit to me getting the blue check mark. It's fake clout. 
it means nothing. It's you, you know what the blue check mark means? I'm an asshole. I'm a stupid idiot who likes giving money to a guy who's already rich but made a horrible business decision. I get nothing out of this, but I think I'm special because I paid to have a blue icon next to my name. It's moronic. I mean, really. I can't imagine a single reason why you would pay for that besides you're stupid and you think you have clout that you don't. Right? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. So, I'm not partaking in the bullshit. Like I said, I will continue to post up once a day my schedule. And if there's uh, when my streams go live, I'll post up over there. But the best way, absolute best way for you to be in the know about what's going on with me, subscribe to DSP Gaming. Subscribe to DSP React. I'm posting up the community posts. Anything that I put on Twitter, I mirror right here on the community posts anyway. <clears throat> that's the best way to be in the know about everything with me. All right? Moving forward, that's just, you know, there's no point to the Twitter shit. The Twitter is just a backup and a, and a, and a mirror. If you want to follow me on Twitter, go for it. But, you know, it, it, there's no point in me going crazy on there. It's a waste of time. Okay? All right. Big D helps me more than anything.